in Bahrain. Yes, that's right. I am at the Kingdom of Bahrain. Now, as you guys can see, I just checked in at my apartment. Uh, this is my apartment hotel. You know, very spacious. And as you guys can see, I just woke up. So I'm trying my best to be as active as possible. So I'm gonna freshen up, get some coffee. I don't know what the plan is for the next couple of days, uh, what kind of food tours we're gonna do, but I'm gonna do my best to try to see what I can find here. It's uh, gonna be interesting to find out and see what kind of food influence this country has in terms of how the culture diversity is over here and how the food is here. So let's just stay tuned and see what happens. I'll see you guys soon. Got my healthy lunch, nice pokey. Some one of my favorite things to drink, bubble tea, and some cookies. Let's dig in. Okay, so we got some mangoes, we got some salmon, some togarashi, some edamame. We got also the crispy, uh, I think that's crispy edomi, endomi noodles, sorry. So we're gonna dig in and we're gonna enjoy this right now. So the food is interesting, as you can as you can see. The boba tea is amazing. It's slightly a little bit over sweetened, but it should be fine. I mean, if I could change something about this, it it'll be just to reduce the sweetness a little bit on this. Anyways, I'm done from here, guys. I'll put a link in the description below of the actual place where you can visit in Bahrain, and hopefully we're gonna try to go visit other places here in Bahrain to try to explore the more traditional part. Simon, he's the guy to make your pokey, guys. Yeah. Stop by here, try the pokey. It's, it's amazing, along with the boba. Thank you so much, Simon. I'll see you soon. Peace, bro. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Man, he's so nice. He's so awesome as well. I'm supposed to head to this place, which is basically a historical fort in Bahrain to basically document about the history and the culture and how it is. But apparently the authorities just told me that I'm not allowed to take any videos or pictures. So so right now I'm basically typing down the email to the cultural uh, office of Bahrain just to let them know that I'm actually gonna... that I need a permit to basically uh, document the whole place because I really need that type of content on my YouTube page. And uh, just hope that they would agree and somehow give me a response sometime today or tomorrow. Okay, so what's the plan now? I'll tell you guys what it is. Um, I'm gonna be heading to a restaurant that's been established since 1950, and it's considered one of the most uh, popular restaurants uh, here in Bahrain. Uh, if I'm lucky enough, uh, I'll probably will not be able to get a seat, to be honest. Chicken biryani is the only thing that's available right now. It also depends on like because they have set menus depending on you know at what time you come during at the day. You know they have the breakfast set menu and they have the uh, the dinner set menu, the lunch set menu. And just by my luck, I managed to get the final final pick in choosing the chicken biryani. had an amazing meal, nothing better than to wash everything down and digest with a nice cup of tea. I highly recommend you guys that come here in Bahrain at Haji's and try this food. Just in time. Thank you. 
some dates as well. I highly recommend you guys try the dates. <laughs> So, I'll admit to you guys that it took me a little bit of time to get used to this place and to try to find it. It's actually nestled between an old building and a mosque over here. And it's like into an alleyway. So this is basically the closest that I can get to the fort. As I mentioned earlier, uh, yesterday, that I cannot go inside and take the actual footage. Um, I don't remember what kind of civilization is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So basically this is where I could get. I mean, this is pretty much it. Thanks to this guy. Well, guess what? Looks like I finally got the email back from the uh, Bahrain tourism industry. All right, guys. I think we got rejected, as you can see. It's in Arabic, of course, but you know, just to translate, it says, uh, "Dear Faisal, we would like to thank you for the email, and we would like to inform you that photography and video shooting inside the dome itself is restricted and is not allowed. And we thank you for the request, and." We regret to inform you that we cannot proceed with your request. It's okay, it's okay. It's one of the harsh realities of a YouTuber. Not everything goes according to plan, as, as I said a couple of days ago. I think in the next couple of days we're going to try to visit a traditional market, like a flea market. The Muharraq market is basically a, a traditional marketplace where you can find traditional uh, street food as well as, you know, like, I think you can find probably, you know, traditional souvenirs, sweets, and all these type of stuff that you guys would want, definitely want to check out. So we're probably going to head there in a couple of hours and I'll see you guys then. So What's up guys, we're back. Uh, we're going to a location called Bab al Bahrain or is translated as House of Bahrain or Door of Bahrain. And we're heading there right now. And I'm in the middle of the bustling city of Manama. As you guys can see, it's pretty busy in fact. Uh, established in 1950, I think. Uh, and it's a, uh, basically, it's one of those locations where it's historic in terms of trade and in terms of, you know, business.
Guys, behind me is a temple that's been built back in the 1800s, um, late 1800s, here in Bahrain. And basically, because Bahrain is a multi multicultural, uh, you know, country, uh, you got Indians, you got um, Bahrainis, you got different types of nationalities that basically live here, and they've been working here for generations and generations. And a lot of Bahrain's food is involved or has evolved into more like into a way where they subcultural mixed, or basically they. They mixed the culture between Indian cuisine and Bahraini cuisine, uh, which is why during the trade uh, era, back in the late 1800s and to the early 1900s, there was a lot of imports and a lot of shipments coming between the two countries in terms of trade, in terms of gold, in terms of jewelry. So unfortunately, because there were strict regulations about me, you know, taking videos inside that place, I can only take a photo, which I'm about to show you guys. Okay guys, I'm at Souq Al Muharraq, or as they would call Al Muharraq Market, which is a very old traditional marketplace. Um, this place is famous for its traditional spices. Um, you're gonna find a lot of, uh, you know, Bahraini-made recipes over here. Like for example, a pickle, pickles, or the original spices that they usually use in Bahraini cuisine. And um, it's gonna be busy, as we can see because uh, it's the weekend also at the same time and what I like about this place so much is the fact that you know you can find a lot of those type of hole-in-the-wall type of restaurants that have been there for ages serving the same type of delicious food all the time and uh, it's just been untouched by time so let's go and check out see what we can find Labia, Labia. Okay. Uh, Crunchy and sweet. You know. I forgot the name of it actually, but it tastes so damn good. Okay guys, so, so what I just had was just a simple snack, mostly associated with a quick breakfast meal. It's basically a chapati. A chapati, if you guys don't know, I mean, for some of my Western followers, uh, it's basically like an Indian bread, flat bread, inside, uh, covered with basically uh, cream cheese. And it's the perfect combination to include it with this. Karak, karak is basically an Indian pool tea flavored with cardamom. Excellent winter drink, highly recommended. And we're gonna go to one final place. Okay guys, this concludes our video for the day. Um, I basically try to cover as much as I can from the major touristic sites here in Bahrain. Some things didn't go according to plan, as always. I mean, in the end, that's the harsh realities of a YouTuber. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Right now, I'm just gonna enjoy the shawarma. Assalamu alaikum.